We just had a great session of baby boot camp and I'm here with one of my favourite clients, <laughs> Barb Massler. And um, I just want you, Barb, to tell me a little bit about your time at baby boot camp, what you got out of it. Sure. Um, I signed up for baby boot camp convinced that it would not work and convinced that I would... <laughs> Sorry, Kate, it's true, it's true. Uh, but, you know what, I thought six weeks, I'll give it a shot, I'll see what happens. And I found by about week two, baby had been up all night, I was exhausted, the thought of actually getting in the car and driving anywhere actually seemed a bit dangerous to me, but I thought, you know... I actually want to go, and that's something that was really, really strange and alien to me. I put it down sleep deprivation, went along and ran and ran and ran and, and did all the exercises. And then, you know what, six weeks, I had results. I had lost, I think it was four and a half kilos at that stage. I felt better. Uh, people told me I looked better, but maybe they were just being polite. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I, I, signed up, I signed up again. And the sessions are great. The babies are present. They yell, and you pick them up, you do stuff with them, and when you've had enough of them, you hand them over to a trainer who looks after them yeah. while you go running. Mm -hmm. And was it the results that really made things uh, switch over for you, would you say? Like that was the, uh, purely the motivation? No, look, I don't think it was because the, 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 the switch in my mindset occurred before any results. I was sugar deprived, uh, <laughs> majorly sugar deprived. Because we give meal plans. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so these meal plans, <laughs> no sugar. Um, and you know, I had every reason in the world not to come. You know, I still wasn't looking great. So why did you keep pulling yourself out of bed to come to these classes with babies? Because it's nice to get outside. Yeah. There are a whole bunch of people in the same situation and you know it wasn't the boot camp that i'd read about it wasn't the boot camp where the trainers are done up in the middle degree yelling at you and you know basically putting their foot on your oh, come on we're a bit tough aren't we? <laughs> we're a bit tough yeah. yeah you're tough but you're not vicious no and that's the difference so there's a motivating element to it yes you're encouraged to absolutely push yourself but you know when to stop and yep. that's the unusual aspect i think that, that there's that recognition that and I think it's partly you've been there. Mm. You know what it's like. Certainly do. Um, and the other mums know what it's like. And so if you see someone who's not coping, all the mums just step in and help out. It's just a fantastic feeling. And nothing's quite as bad, or it doesn't seem as bad when you're out in the beautiful sunshine. The trees are fantastic. It's just, it's lovely. You know, the river, it's fantastic. It's new fun park. It is, yeah. Couldn't be better. Thanks for your time, Bob. Yeah, no worries. Thank Alrighty. you. Alrighty. Yeah.